So while many are working from home, they're practicing social distancing, one profession where that just is not possible is law enforcement. They interact with the public on a daily basis and multiple people every day. That puts them at a higher risk for contracting coronavirus. So Steve Zona, he is the president of Jacksonville's Fraternal Order of Police. He, along with the presidents of other Florida chapters, they sent a letter to Governor DeSantis asking that he use his authority to mandate that if any first responder contracts coronavirus to be considered a work-related injury or illness. Now, Zona says the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has been very supportive, making sure that their officers, bailiffs, and first responders are covered by insurance or workers' compensation. But that has not been the case for law enforcement in other areas of the state. Many of the agencies around the state are making their people jump through hoops to be covered, meaning, uh, let's take for an example, prove you had contact with a COVID positive uh, person while you were working. And, and I think we all know, I mean, we're not doctors or experts, but we've been watching and listening to the doctors and experts. And, you know, many of the people that we come in contact with um, may be asymptomatic. So he says that officers understand the risk. They know the risk every day that they go out and do their jobs. But he just wants to make sure that at the end of the day, when the pandemic is over, that first responders are covered by, in case anything happens with coronavirus, that they make sure that they are covered by either their workers' compensation or by insurance.